All right, here's my paper making studio. And first of all, I'll walk over here and look at my, my beater, my press, and my sink. Um, the beater, which is this machine right here, is called the Hollander Beater. It's named after the water wheels of Holland. And if you look closely, it uh, this is why it's called the Hollander Beater. It has these wheels kind of thing. And the wheel there spins around when the, the uh, paper is being made. It Um, the paper gets crushed in between these, this wheel. You can see it a little better when we put it up here. All right. And each one of these blades catches the fiber. The, when the beater is going, it's, this is filled with water up to about this line right here. So it makes quite a bit of noise, but it crushes the, the pulp as it goes through the beater. And this is the pulp I use. This is uh, cotton and it comes from the uh, from North Carolina. It's second cut cotton which means that the first cut when the harvester goes over the plant gets picked up and is turned into uh, cotton for cloth. It's used for cloth for clothing. And then this cotton is a little bit coarser um, and it works well for making paper. And then another fiber I use is called abaca, and that's what this is. And abaca is the inner bark of the banana tree. It comes from Tanzania. It's a very, very strong fiber, and it um, is a beautiful fiber. It makes a lovely colored paper. It's kind of like an ivory color, and it's a very, very strong. In fact, if you've ever drinking tea. Um, tea bags are made out of abaca because it's a very strong fiber when it's wet. And then this is my press. Um, I have like this PV, PVC uh, tubing here and it, you know, it, you press it up and down and the paper sheets go in between these wooden boards and then as I, I crank the press this top piece um, goes down and it and ultimately will squeeze the papers and that's what get a lot, gets a lot of the water out of them. And then I, here's my storage space. I have a lot of my uh, raw materials here. You see the, the, um, the cotton piled up there and some, some uh, raw materials and boards being ready to use. And then here's my, my work space. I have a lot of boards uh, that I can work on and then the studio has a lot of uh, finished work and half finished work. This is what I'm working on now. This is a handmade paper painting. It's going to be an ocean painting and this is the vacuum table that I use. Um, these are the colors and I, I take the pulp after it's beaten in that beater and I pigment it with pure pigment which is cobalt, manganese, and titanium, things of that nature. And um, I use those colors to paint with, so to speak. And on my next few videos, I'll be showing how I engage in the, the uh, painting process.